Mm, so this beautiful. is uh, Reverend uh, Brooke Rolston here, <laughs> and uh, we're looking at the uh, beginning stages of mosaic making for the uh, Under the Wings of God. Uh, number 62 is Lata Barshevsky of Bialystok, my great-grandmother, who was yes. murdered by the Nazis. And um, talking about this area here, so this is based on a, uh, a menorah from a, a black and white photograph from this book called Time of Stones, which I've used a number of imagery as kind of source inspiration for in different artworks, uh, Polish Jewish gravestones, a book I bought in Poland, uh, f photographs by this Polish photographer named Monica Kurievska. And um, so what I was saying here was that the, the um, as a, differently than the menorah and the Orthodox Jew mosaic drawing, I have these are all, all very, m many of them are like different shapes and they're going every which way even I though they all now. fit together. I see it now. The menorah and the, that previous mosaic piece, I did kind of more like patterning like this where, where you have all the... The I pieces made were fairly so, uniform. Fairly uniform and I had them kind of going in, in um, uh, well, I don't know. Um, I think once it's grouted... It will also, uh, well, it will make much more sense then. It also depends on what I do in the background areas, color-wise. Right. right. But one of the things I was going to say that this man here in the oh. camera is familiar with, in the artwork Showa Dreams, I have figures, buildings, wings going every which direction. Yes. And I remember... Uh, That's why we could dis display the work horizontally. There was no clear up or down. Or vertically. It was, or it was, vertically. It was right, right. vertically at the fry and horizontally at the at um, Seattle Central. At the Wing Luke. And at Seattle oh. Central and University Christian and University Congregational, it was all tabletop. Yes, tabletop. And people right. could walk around it. That's right. So you, viewers may wonder, at least at this stage, why is this going this way when this is going yes. this way? Yes. Well, I was thinking of following a similar format. And I was thinking because Zlata was very devout. So I was told by the late, a late cousin of my uh, mother's uh, named Genya, who lived in a, uh, near Tel Aviv. She was from Lithuania. She told me that Genya was, that Zlata was very devout, wouldn't eat in the homes of her two sons who had stayed in Europe. The third son was my granddad who had moved to London and then New York. And, and I was thinking for what I want to do imagery-wise all the way around, is different ritual objects pertaining to Judaism, and to fulfill that kind of show of dreams yes. format, what I think of as what Elie Wiesel calls the kingdom of night, I'm going to have them going, not that I can get that many in there, but mm -hmm. depending on what I do, one, two, four, five, seven, I may be able to get eight or nine different things in here. Uh, I'm going to have them going in different directions. Mm -hmm. So that's the plan. So that will make much more sense, for example, when I put whatever I want to put in here, let's say it's going this way, or it's going that way, Yes. yes. as an yes. example. Sure. Only Zlata will be clearly oriented vertically on this. Right, with her this shoes towards the bottom and head toward okay. the, top. the top. Right. Unlike, for example, what I did with... Um, 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 I just went the, blank in her name. The, the Mira Steiner. Upside, the, the work that's upside down. Upside down is a matter of... Upside down is a matter of somebody's choice of perspective. perspective. Right. Yeah. 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 And actually, when I was... I did a film, but I didn't put it up on YouTube. But before I uh, began building the frame here to go around the drawing, I, I had placed the drawing in several different directions, mm. including one that was upside down. Ah. And, and ended up deciding to do it like this, even though... The upside down, so to speak, um, would have had a, a really good relationship in terms of the, of also addressing that the up how everything turned upside down for yes. European Jews yeah. and Romani and Sinti peoples, especially all targeted for death. So, uh, I've been talking way too much here. Anything you'd like to add before I turn this off? I, just, I love the the gold. And I'm not sure yet if it represents something inlaid in the menorah or it's a background color. And there's one tiny aquamarine piece mm -hmm. in the middle of a 
otherwise blue field mm -hmm. and a clear marble. Uh, and just and you'll never guess what this is. Oh, oh my goodness! Is it a bird? Oh, it's a. It's not. It's a sea. It's a seahorse. That's Kaba, very, caballito. That's very good. But you were right the first time. Oh, I was right the first time. It's a bird. It's a bird. I should have guessed it. A bird coming out of a you. lamed, the Hebrew letter uh, L. A lamed. So I want you to take this, and uh, don't cover that. All right. I'm going to just grab something here to show you and viewers who happen to watch this on YouTube. All right. So here's the uh, Time of Stones book. So here's the uh, menorah. This is in a, in oh, a Jewish yes. cemetery in a uh, town called Sieniawa, which is in southern Poland, not terribly far from Krakow. So uh, right now that's going to be showing upside uh, sideways, by the way. Yes. This is uh, this here from a well-known town in this in terms of Polish Jewish history called Czarnów. So I just began doing the plant section there. I've decided to ex replace these two letters with two other letters because it looks like go in English. It does. I, uh, and it's not. It's <laughs> gum. It's gum. I'm, and Fine. here, this is from the Jewish cemetery in Warsaw, which I've been to a couple of times. And we have th three lamas here, each one Two. where the upper part of the letter uh, morphs into like a bird's head beak yes, and, eye, and eyes. Yes, it does. And uh, so I did one of those here. Yes. Which no one's going to be able to figure out when they're looking at it, but that's okay. Ow. They might. Yeah, I'm backing double, up now. Yeah. Uh, I think it goes out of focus when I go too close. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Since the viewfinder didn't, I That's didn't it. know that. We're All in right. seven minutes. So yeah, push the red.